Alec is putting 21 flowers into three vases. He puts the same number of flowers in each vase. How many flowers are in each vase? What is the unknown in the problem? Good. Let F stand for the number of flowers in each vase. Complete the equation to represent the problem. Nice work. How many flowers are in each vase? That's it. F equals seven. There are seven flowers in each vase. Emily has 21 flowers. She puts three flowers in her hair and puts the rest in a vase. How many flowers are in the vase? What is the unknown in the problem? Good job. Let V stand for the number of flowers in each vase. Complete the equation to represent the problem. You can find the number of flowers in the vase, V, by subtracting. That is, 21 minus 3. Choose the minus sign. How many flowers are in the vase? What is 21 minus 3? Nice. V equals 18. That means there are 18 flowers in the vase. Jackson has 15 boxes of raisins. He keeps five boxes and gives the rest to his friends. How many boxes of raisins does Jackson give to his friends? Let F stand for the boxes of raisins Jackson gives to his friends. Which equation can be used to solve the problem? That's right. How many boxes of raisins does Jackson give to his friends? Good. F equals 10. Jackson gives 10 boxes of raisins to his friends. Naomi has 15 dumplings to share with five friends. She gives each friend the same number of dumplings. How many dumplings does each friend get? Let D stand for the number of dumplings each friend gets. Which equation can be used to solve the problem? Great. How many dumplings does each friend get? Way to go! D equals three. Each friend gets three dumplings. Joel packs 24 granola bars into six backpacks for a camping trip. Each backpack has the same number of granola bars. How many granola bars are in each backpack? Let G stand for the number of granola bars in each backpack. Choose all the equations that can be used to solve the problem. Your equation is correct, but there is another equation that can be used to solve the problem. Try again. You got it. How many granola bars are in each backpack? Great work! G equals 4. There are 4 granola bars in each backpack. It is Riley's turn to bring in snacks. Her mom has 24 fruit bars. 
She keeps six fruit bars and puts the rest in Riley's backpack. How many fruit bars are in Riley's backpack? Let B stand for the number of fruit bars in Riley's backpack. Choose all the equations that can be used to solve the problem. Your equation is correct, but there is another equation that can be used to solve the problem. Try again. 24 fruit bars minus the six bars Riley's mom keeps is equal to B, the number of fruit bars in Riley's backpack. You can also think of this as six plus what number equals 24? How many fruit bars are in Riley's backpack? Nice. B equals 18. There are 18 fruit bars in Riley's backpack. Victoria packs 27 old toys into three boxes. She puts the same number of toys in each box. How many toys are in each box? What is the unknown in the problem? Let T stand for the number of toys in each box. Complete the equation to represent the problem. How many toys are in each box? Complete the sentence. Alonzo has 24 toys. He gives four toys to his little brother and puts the rest away in a box. How many toys are in the box? Let T stand for the number of toys in the box. Complete the equation to represent the problem. How many toys are in the box? Complete the sentence. Jason washes 20 dishes. He dries them and stacks them in four piles. Each pile has the same number of dishes. How many dishes are in each pile? Let D stand for the number of dishes in each pile. Choose all the equations that can be used to solve the problem. How many dishes are in each pile? Complete the sentence.